In this video, I'm going to explain how to synthesize nanostructure material, how to reach, obtain nanoscale structure materials, right? Basically, there are two approaches. The first one is called top-down approach. The second one is called bottom-up approach. Using these two approaches, the top-down and bottom-up approaches, we can reach to a nanoscale. The nanostructure material may be quantum dot, nanoparticle, nanorod, nanofibers, nanotubes. And we know that nano means that when one dimension of that material is at least between this range, from 1 to 100 nanometer, at least one dimension. As we know that there are three dimensions, every material x, y, z. So at least, at least one dimension should be in the range of this from 1 to 100 nanometer. So that material we call nanomaterial, right? Let's discuss what is top-down approach. Top-down approach means, first of all, we have a bulk material like a block and we cut it, make it slices using some physical method like cutting, like milling, like etching. And we make this bulk material into small slices, small powder or grind it. So the second stage we get powder form. This material has the same property like this material because it is not that much smaller in size now. Once we further decrease the size of this powder, then we get nanomaterial. The nanomaterial should be in the form of nanoparticle, quantum dots, nano sheet like graphene sheet, maybe nanofibers, maybe nanotubes or what form it may be, right? This means that top down approach is basically a physical method. Here we use basically physical interaction between the tool and the bulk material. Now let's discuss about the bottom up approach. In both methods, top down approach and bottom up approach our target is to reach nanoscale, right? What basically happened in bottom up approach? We put like a break, one break, another break, another break, and we make a wall. So similarly, one atom or molecules, we take, when it combines with each other atoms or molecules, it make a cluster here. And then that cluster grow, that process we call nucleation, into a nanostructure material. So here we again get the same result here we got, right? This basically, this is also called self-assembling method. Self-assembling method means that one atom comes and deposit on the substrate, another molecule or atom comes and it make a thin layer, right? Then we get nanoscale, nanomaterial thick layer or thin layer like a sheet. You can see here the growth kinetics basically it make cluster first, atom combine or molecule it make a cluster, then through nucleation it form the nanostructure material. This is called the growth process, right? Here this bottom of approach we also use physical as well as chemical method, right? The starting material for top-down approach, top-down methods are always solid. Solid here, like this solid block. But the starting material for bottom-up approach is liquid or gas, right? Liquid or gas. So both are the uh, starting material. Now let's further see here why we say that synthesis of nanostructure material is crucial because once we synthesize nanostructure material of desired properties so then it will change the device performance if because the the, the key thing is here nanomaterial that how we synthesize nanomaterial and what are its characteristics because it gone basically the synthesis method goes basically uh, the properties because 
for example uh, i need high surface uh, area material so i have to i have to manipulate i have to uh, tune my synthesis method so synthesis method is playing very important role and I look here if we synthesize nanomaterial and we are using that in some application some up to electronic devices or some advanced devices so it depends on the synthesis method that what kind of size we need so it depends on the synthesis method morphology shape that whether we need octagon we need a hexagon shape or we need the cube we need the nanofibers we need the nanoparticles we need the quantum dots uh, we need the pentagon shapes right and also the crystal structure because the, the growth process also play a very important role and their chemical composition so these things we can control during the synthesis then it will affect the device uh, performance any device you make uh, from the nanostructured material top down approaches the the best example is lithography i will explain this in the next video like photolithography we use computer chip uh, we 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 use the, uh, the help of uv light or something and we make chips computer chips this is the top down approach right so from bigger uh, object we get uh, smaller chips right like electron beam lithography etching next video i will explain these methods in detail the bottom approach of approaches atomic layer diffusion you see here atomic one one atom comes and it make a layer chemical vapor diffusion you see here we chemically vaporize the atom or molecule in a deposit this chemical vapor deposition similarly the hydrothermal process we also call sol gel method that is the sol gel also method i will explain this the sol gel method right sol gel like solution gel method and also electrospring method right so this was all about the uh, synthesis of nanomaterials how we achieve how we obtain nano structure material so there are two big approaches one is called a top down approach one is called a bottom up approach this means that from big building we make small small bricks or something and here we put small small brick and make a big, big building uh, not big building but we get nano structure material here right so well, this one is looks like a more uh, costly or wasting a lot of material because and this one look like cheaper and uh, there is no waste of material.